And now we're going to go to the land down under. And we're going to introduce our next artist, our next worshiper for the evening. That's Vanessa Kirsting, Kirsting from Adelaide, Australia. How are you doing, sister? I am good, Brad. How are you? <laughs> good. You like my little minute work introduction there? <laughs> I loved it. Come from a land down under. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Did you get up this morning and, and have some toast with butter and a little bit of Vegemite on there? No, I had peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter. Well, um, you know Poppy Pete? He's one of the, he's on here quite a bit in the hangouts. He sent me what he calls a couple satchels. We don't use the word satchel out here, but a couple satchels of this um, Vegemite. It took like months for it to arrive, and we whipped it out. I took a toaster, bread, butter, and these satchels of Vegemite to our Bible study. I said, whoever's brave enough, let's try some of this stuff. And he says, don't spread it on thick. That's the mistake everybody makes. You right? just put a little bit, and it's gold, brother. It's gold. <laughs> and you know what? Um Got a few people go back for seconds. I'll tell you what. Really? I, I don't know what that stuff is, but it's, it's it, when you put just a little bit with some butter, it's really, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. is, is that like, does everybody eat that out there? A lot of us do. Yeah. It's a, a <laughs> yeast extract. Is it good for you? Is it bad for you? Uh, I don't know, but it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go back to the song. She just smiled and handed me a Vegemite sandwich. I don't know if I'd want a whole sandwich full of that stuff, but. <laughs> Vegemite, golden. Gold. <laughs> that's, that's the word that keeps going up. It's golden. It's golden. Well, so you're a singer songwriter from Australia. And um, right now, for instance, it's Friday night. For you, it's Saturday, one o'clock or something yeah PM? yeah i saw you eating before i'm like yep it's about that time <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm a little bit late on my dinner as a matter of fact yeah i stopped and got some italian risotto at one of my favorite italian restaurants love it love yes. it and so um i know that your music is um heard across australia new zealand usa and the uk you've been on a lot of charts and things like that and um what i like with that is combined with that you are humble <laughs> you don't let it get your head what you actually do is you just give god all the glory and it, it just um, you know jesus says to us that we need to you can't take a light and put it under a bushel but rather you put it on top of a mountain for it to shine and and to give you know glory to god to give light to, to the people below so i believe that's something that you are actively doing and um I'm excited to have you on here again. It's been a while since we've been able to chat and see each other and for me to hear you like this. So um, how have you been lately? Doing doing well, doing well. A few things going on, but uh, hanging in there and yeah. Now, are you guys, um, I know for the longest time you guys were on a lockdown, is that correct? Uh, so Melbourne was, they were on, um, yeah, a really big lockdown for almost over a year. But um, officially yesterday, no one even has to quarantine now for COVID. So oh they've, canceled. they've pretty much taken the last restriction away. Celebrate, so. celebrate. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And, and could you tell us, for those of us who are geographically um, illiterate, whereabouts is Adelaide? So most people wouldn't have heard of Sydney or Melbourne. Um, so we are about 900 miles southwest of Sydney. So when you look at a map of Australia, it kind of has, it's kind of like that at the bottom. Mm -hmm. We're in this part here. Okay. So you're not near any coast. Yeah. So we are on the coast. Um, I live maybe 20 minutes drive from the water, um, but can see the sea from my house. And, and here I'm going to show my ignorance once again. Is that the Indian Ocean? Oh, no. You're asking, uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh, God, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. That's good. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, mental bike. We're in the um, the bite, the Great Australian bite. Um, but, yeah, goodness, mental blank time on which ocean. Maybe uh, Red will help me out. Oh, but but oh, you made me feel mental. less stupid by, by, by I, you're probably just playing along, just make me not feel so bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um, our main two oceans that we're surrounded by is the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. So okay, so I might be right. Ones. Got a 50 50 chance right now. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm so excited to see you. And what do you, what do you have for us this evening? 
I'm going to start off with uh, a bit of an oldie that I've played on here a few times. Um, given that it's Red's birthday, I wanted to play uh, one of the songs that he enjoys. Um, uh, start off with God is Good. Um, so this one, everyone can kind of go, oh, oh, in the background. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> Love it. All right, here we go. dancing breath another day and things aren't going your way when things go wrong you wonder how to go on you feel alone like you're on your own the pain is real and it's all you can feel Shining in the darkness, there is a hope for you and me. There is a love that's flowing through creation, and the truth is set to free. You see, our God is good. Oh, oh, our God is good. Oh, oh, our God is good. Oh, oh, our God is good. Back here again. You drown in tears, you paralyzed by fear. But you should know he won't let you go. You're not alone, he's been here all alone. And there's a light that's shining in the darkness. There is a hope for you. God is good. Oh, oh, our God is good. Oh, oh, our God is good. Oh, oh, our God is good. You're not alone. He's been here all along. Our God is good. Oh, oh, our God is good. Oh, oh, our God is good. Oh, Oh, our God is good. Our God is good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> God is good all the time. Oh, wow. Hey, um, by the way, sister, you did mention Red's birthday. Um, yeah. I was wondering, would you do the honors of leading us in the birthday song for Red? Oh, wow. Okay, yes. I would love to. Not to put you on the spot, uh, right? <laughs> acoustically. We can do it acoustically, right? We can do that. How, everyone's going to mark it, right? You know what? Well, uh, why don't we try to sing together and it will come out at different times. Will, that, that's the that's, way that's life, okay? Everyone turn your microphones on. It's going to sound crazy. It'll be come like on. we're in the same room. Yeah, let's just do the best we can, all right? It's going to sound like, you know, popcorn or something, but let's do it. Here we go. Happy birthday, birthday to birthday you. To Happy birthday, birthday to birthday. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Red. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Yay! <laughs> and many more. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right, everyone mute yourself again. That's crazy. <laughs> God bless you, Red. Happy birthday. So, all right, so what else do we have going on for us tonight? Uh, I got another song that um, I wanted to share. Um, called if you could only see and it just um have you ever had a conversation with someone where they just can't see themselves as loved or just can't see how amazing they are as a person um and you just want to be like dude come on you are just loved so much more than you know you are like amazing like kat said you are fearfully and wonderfully made you know um I feel like sometimes the Father, Son, and Spirit are like that with us. Like, you know, it's like, if you could only see, if you could only know how I see you, if you could only know how precious you are to me, that I'm for you and I love you, 
you know, it's like if you could only see um, all that the Father, Son and Spirit sees. So this song is trying to just um, come from the Father, Son and Spirit perspective of just saying, you know what, if you could only see and know how much you are loved and how precious you are. So, give it a crack. (laughs) If you could only see, if you could only Amen. Amen, sister. You know what? The unmerited love of God, it's, it's an amazing thing. You know, people, as a matter of fact, I have, I have one of my students say today, you know, that she knows a very lovely um, old lady that's been like a mother to her. This lady came down with cancer. And, this, and why does something like that happen to such a good person? But for me, an even bigger mystery than why does good things happen to but, you know, why do bad things happen to good people would be, why does God love us at all? Why does he love us? That's a bigger mystery. I mean, we're constantly, so to speak, spitting in his face and you know, trampling him under you know, our feet as if he's nothing, you know, and not giving him the, the extreme love, adoration, and the majestic um, praise and obedience, all the things that he's worthy of. But yet the Bible says that for the joy set before him, Jesus endured suffering on the cross and what was that joy set before him i believe that's to bring us back to him for some reason that's joyful to him to to have us being lost and being blind and and whatever having our eyes open miraculously by him and us returning to him for him that is beautiful he longs for that and and that's that's a mystery and really that's a mystery for me like think about this think of the size of the universe uh the sun is but a speck compared to the size of the universe and earth is a, a micro spec and we are nothing you know but jesus game came to this little speck of planet earth gave himself for us and that is a great mystery i don't know do you have anything to add to that sister and knows the number of hairs on our head yeah 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 so this little speck down here i mean less and less hairs as time goes by but still <laughs> he knows and it's probably it's that number's like changing like right now. It's, it's about a second. Right. There goes another one. <laughs> Here goes another one. But he cares about every detail of our lives, doesn't he? Mm. There's nothing too yeah. big. And there's nothing too small that you can't just talk to God about. Mm. And he loves to hear our voice, doesn't he? Yeah. Yep. 
And the simple fact that, yes, the world is massive and yet the number of our hairs on our head are known, you know, just reminds us how much we matter and how, um, yeah, much we, yeah. you know, we are important, we matter and we are loved for who we are. Well, I think the only response from us should be gratitude and, and to just love him back. The Bible says that we love Jesus because he first loved us. He was the instigator we weren't. And so if you are watching this program tonight and you haven't said thank you, Jesus, in a while, now's a great time to say it. Just remind him how much you love him and how much you want to reciprocate even a fraction of that love that he's given to you because you can never pay it back <laughs> the way he paid it forward for you. Amen. Hmm. All right. So what else do you have for us tonight? Um, I've got a bit of an oldie, like, so this is one of my very first songs. So I've been uh, doing some writing for maybe 20 odd years. This year we celebrate kind of the 20th anniversary of my first album. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I feel really old when I say that, um, but it's fun, <laughs> you know, 20 years doing this stuff. Um, but this song kind of talks about that tension that we have um caught between the now and then caught between knowing and not knowing caught between um saying thank you for loving me and knowing that we're loved and sitting in this darkness and pain that we see the world going on in the world um and you know um you know sometimes for some of us that pain that depression that anxiety gets so deep and so hard um you know sometimes we feel like we're trudging through mud um but even as we're trudging um the father son and spirit are there with us you yeah, know sometimes it. sometimes we do these things and people think man they've got their lives together you know they're they're singing they're doing their thing they're you know what my life is a mess i am a mess but the beauty in my story is that they create something beautiful out of our brokenness and mess. Um, and the last verse of this song says, what is broken you can restore. The pain and suffering, so the pain and suffering of life, Christ has endured. You know, it's his love, it's their love that soothes the wounded soul and all the shattered pieces of our lives, all the brokenness, all of the mess. He makes whole again and makes it beautiful. So this one, yeah, is an older song, but just reminds us of that truth that no matter how messy our lives are, something beautiful can be made of it. And all we have to do is let him love us and participate in what's going on. Between the now and then, she tries to look at her life again. The innocent child, so scared to cry, so broken and hurt from all the lies. soothes the, the wounded soul 
all the shattered pieces you can make That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's very catchy, by the way. Now, is this song something that you have recorded with the whole band, the string section and this and that? No. So um, we've got a bit more of an acoustic style of it. Um, but yeah, the goal is one day to do a bigger version of it. I would like to hear some string sections and synth or something to go on with that just to, you know, I just I was imagining it in my mind as you're playing it. <laughs> So, it's yes, fun, huh? that song is epic. I don't know Thanks. if you've ever been told that, but that song's epic. <laughs> What's the name of that song again? <laughs> Sorry? What's the name of that uh, song? Now and Then. Now and Then. Yeah. Awesome. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a fun one to play. <laughs> yeah, the, the, it's, it's, it's uh, hauntingly um, catchy. It's just it's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You have one more song for us this evening? I do. Um, this last song is uh, called Christ in Us, and it's um, kind of based on the verse of Christ in us, the hope of glory. Um, it's Christ in us where we find our identity. It's Christ in us that brings life. And, you know, we can be who we are um, because Christ is in and with and for us in everything that we do. So I just thought I'd finish off with this little reminder. Christ in us, the hope of glory, Christ in us, the hope of Christ in us, the hope of glory, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Christ is in the Father, the Father. Christ is in humanity, humanity is in Christ. Christ in us, the hope of glory, Christ in us, the hope of Christ is in our darkness. 
Christ is in our pain when all that around us fails the truth of Christ remains Christ in us the hope of The hope of glory, Christ in us. The hope of glory, Christ in us. The hope of glory. Wow. I, I don't know if everybody gives the same feeling I do, but um, I've never met you in person. I've met you a few times here on Zoom. But as I, I see this little square, little video feed of you, I just feel like we have a friend over there in Australia. Just a loving friend that just, just you know, likes to talk about Jesus, likes to sing about Jesus. I hope everybody watching you feels that same way. You've got a friend over there, down under. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> A friend who eats Vegemite sandwiches. <laughs> uh, yeah. Give us a little, just a quick little lesson on um, so, well, something else about Australia we might not know. Our Australians. <laughs> so South Australia, the state that I live, um, most of Australia was settled, um, colonised, um, or um, the criminals that came over by boats to Australia um, from England. Um Everywhere but South Australia was um, established. Really? Yeah. So we are the free state in Australia. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Not criminals here. <laughs> and by the way, um, when I just said that, I feel like you're a friend over there. Bianca Mendoza um, chimed in and says, I feel the same way. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So, and, and I hope that's, the, that's the, 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 what we project is, you know, the love of God and love of people, you know. We're not we're not here to make a name for ourselves or to you know whatever to, be, to see our name in the light <laughs> it's just about if we can make jesus big and us smaller you know and what is that sign you got a street sign behind you behind you can you explain that oh my goodness yes i uh i love america and memphis is one of my favorite places um amongst many but i have a bill street sign <laughs> Me. I hope you didn't steal that from a street corner. Mm, no. <laughs> You're out of our jurisdiction. You can say it. Just come clean. <laughs> yeah, right. You're right. Have you noticed there's nothing swinging there anymore? <laughs> no. It's uh, one of those uh, many souvenirs that you can get when you're on Beale Street. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. All right.